If you've ever heard of Alinea in Chicago, the aviary is their ambitious cocktail bar. This recipe, the Kyoto Autumn, is a drink out of the aviary cocktail book. And just looking through this book makes you appreciate how much work can go into a seemingly simple drink. The world of mixology is still a mystery to me. Unlike cooking, it's hard for me to imagine exactly what a cocktail will taste like in its final stage. With food, you can kind of grasp what it should taste like at the end. Oh god, I put too much. But for cocktails like this one, it completely surprised me. Recently, I've been getting into whiskey. Like, really getting into whiskey. So when I found this recipe, it posed a challenge that I feel like I've been missing out on for a while. I've usually made cocktails in 10, maybe 20 minutes, but never have I needed to whip out the sous vide for a cocktail, a whiskey dashi, and what in the hell is a tincture? As I started infusing the whiskey in the sous vide tank, I started developing feelings of excitement and these thoughts of grandiose achievement. Oh, I'm spending well over five hours on this cocktail. It's from one of the most prestigious cocktail bars in the world. A whiskey dashi, that's fucking genius. Grant Atkins himself must love this cocktail. <coughs> but alas, I've fallen into a trap that I've always fell into growing up. In high school, I was a grade A student, had a plethora of extracurriculars and amazing test scores. My dream school was Columbia in New York, and I had applied early decision with confidence. The anticipation grew for months. Rumors spread of who was getting into which schools. I had the test scores and grades to show for it. And I even had the audacity to wear a Columbia shirt to school some days. The anticipation for college decisions was turning into a fantasy in my dumb little head. Finally, when decisions were announced, I was distraught. Went home and cried. Imagine what my career as a pre-med student would look like without Columbia. Cried some more and then came to terms with it over time. I eventually went to USC, which was one of the best decisions of my life, and I spent a long time on this cocktail. I digress. Confidence is good. However, inflated expectations fueled by overconfidence, not so good. Hmm. That's the most interesting cocktail I've ever had. Really smoky. You can taste the spicy togarashi. You can taste the sesame. And it ends with a whiskey mushroom aftertaste. I like it, but to be honest, I don't love it. I don't know if it was worth the effort for this. Maybe it's just not my cup of tea. I mean, it's worth it because I learned, but. And just like how Columbia rejected me, my expectations for this drink were shattered. However, now I know that I don't love savory cocktails. Yeah, I don't know if I love this.